Hi everyone, uh, time for another programming lesson. If you remember last time, um, we were working on our EA, which is get it coming there, it's, it's coming along. Uh, but we had an issue to do with this function here, the modify order stop loss. And the issue was that sometimes, uh, in fact most times, for most ticks, the uh, stop loss value won't have changed. And the reason being that we're at the moment trailing on, you know, an n bar trail. So, you know, for most ticks within a bar, that you know that the low slow of the last five bars isn't going to be di any different and the order modify function doesn't like it if you're trying to change an order but actually to the set set the stop loss to the same value as it was before okay so what we need to do is change this code and i ask you for your homework to think about how you might do that so i'm going to show you now okay so let's think about this okay so the uh stop loss we're trying to change to is is the variable sl the stop loss that it is already is order stop loss okay so what we want to know is are have they changed so let's take the difference between the two okay and we'll see if that is uh greater than zero now the thing you've got to watch out for is one will be bigger than the other so it'll it you know it may be um different by two ticks but it may be plus two ticks or minus two ticks and in order to get around this there's a function a maths function called maths abs it's taking the absolute value um, for those of you who are familiar with with uh, mathematical terms that means that the, the value which is always positive so it's just the, the, the size of it so minus minus two pips will have the absolute value of plus two pips and plus three pips will have the absolute value of plus three pips so basically it makes it so it's always positive okay so the difference the positive difference between these two values we want to make sure that's greater than the minimum fluctuation which is if you remember this variable point okay so if that is true so let's make this into an if statement and then we want to go ahead and do our modification okay so there we go um just check this how this reads so you've selected the ticket we check that the the change is actually a positive value then if it is then we're going to um do our modification and if the modification succeeds then we will return true now there's an interesting question here is what do we want to return if there's no change um this may seem pointless but um it's one of the things you need to think about in the general design of your code is this order this modified trailing stop code returns true if it's successfully managed to modify the the code so you can see here if i've managed to modify i'm setting success to two to true and that's returning that value um so the question is where what you want to signal if you didn't need to change it okay for now i'm going to leave it as it is which means that if i didn't need to change it i'm going to return false and as a moment we're not actually using the return value so it doesn't really matter it's one of these things which as you get more experience with programming you sort of tune into this and you have to sort of think about you know the general how you want your function to behave um, at the highest level okay so let's check this compiles it does indeed okay um, now let's just check it works um, what do we fancy um, let's just stick an EJ short on here check us a demo account yep just make sure that's switched on let's just whack a short on there okay there it is and now let's find our code um, or what was it called? My first, my training stop EA. Okay, let's drop this in, and there we go. We should see. There we are. The stop. That should be five bars. One, two, three, four, five bars back. There we go. Okay, so that's all working. Now, something I want to think about. This is your next homework. The way this is working, every single tick, it is going here, calling this function, and modifying the stop if necessary. Okay. Now, for the kind of training stop we're presently using, which is the uh, training stop of the last n bars, okay, most ticks, there will be nothing to do. And the reason being that if it's a, let's go look at the chart, if this, you're looking for the highest high of the last five bars, you only want to do that calculation once a bar when, when the bar's completed. So the rest of the time, you don't even want to do this. Now we have changed our code now, so we're not going to try and modify the stop loss, but it's still very inefficient in that we're actually calling all this every single tick just to just to check 
that at this point, oh, we don't actually want to do anything. So uh, what I want you to do is think about how you can do that, how you can modify the code so you don't actually even call this unless the uh, um, unless the abara is actually completed. Okay, and I'll give you a little clue. You need to look at the timestamp of the bar. Okay, so see if you can work it out from that. Okay, so a nice short lesson there. Uh, as always, any questions or comments, then do let me know. Okay, thanks then. Bye for now.